Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. DS. Uh, last time I went through worlds 4 and 5 I believe and uh, we're going to try and get through world 6 and 7 today. So, I guess we... Oh, uh, yeah, let's just get rid of that mini mushroom, don't want that. But yeah, just going through, gonna go through the, um, the mountain level, or the canyon level, rather. <laughs> Sound effects are amusing. Very Mario 64-esque. Um, but yeah. Um... I don't know, what is this to say about a canyon? Like, uh, there's a lot of mountains and stuff, and, um... I... What I remember from the canyon levels in these games is that there's a lot of, um... There's a lot of billet bills, usually. There's a lot of areas where you're, like, clinging. Or, or like, trying to shimmy away across, like, an e a ledge and stuff. And, uh... I, rem I remember there being quite a few cave levels as well. I don't. I'm not sure about this. Uh, this one. Uh, this game in particular. But I remember in like at least Mario Wii there were quite a few. Um. And I needed that mini mushroom. Oh, of course I did. I'm not even surprised at this point. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that that the pipe probably led to like coins or something because there there are there have been quite a few um, mini mushroom pipes that just led to that kind of thing. Oh. Desert level, eh? That's kind of interesting. Yeah, they don't really start... They don't really uh, do much of this kind of thing uh, until Mario U, the latest one. <laughs> uh, well, unless you can't... Well, with the exception of Luigi U, obviously, but... Um, yeah, like, they don't do too many of these instances where, uh, like... You go to- you're playing one world, and you go to like a secret level or something, and it turns out to be a desert or a snow level, like, uh, because of the way these games are structured, like, they're, um, I, I don't see here, is this a secret- oh, okay, okay, good, I had the right idea, because, uh, there's a- there's a secret that's exactly like that in Mario Wii, so I was wondering if that was the case, uh, but apparently it is, so that's all good. But yeah, like, because uh, of the way these games are usually structured, um, they don't do that stuff. Because it's like, you're in a canyon world, uh, you're in a uh, snow world, and you, you're not really going outside of that, so you're never really going to see anything but that. But in Mario U's, Mario U's case, because it's op not open world, but it's, it's designed like Mario World's world map, where it's one big environment, so you could, you could find a... Uh, a secret level in World 2, I think, that leads to a secret area in World 3 or 4, um, which is an ice level, a uh, snow ice level, so you get to play a, uh, one of those stages, which I think is really cool. Like, I really like Mario U, I can't wait to get to that in the, in the, uh, future, like in 10 years time. <laughs> and of course you can still, like, Use the sand to uh, get par bypass walls and stuff like that, which is all good. And also, that can happen. All right. These levels always tell teach me to just hug the si near the ceiling area, because you never know where like a secret pipe, maybe or like something, or maybe not. It's gonna be the end though, like, right? Like, we missed a star coin. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, I might as well save that mushroom house. <laughs> At least we got that. I should probably start doing that more, like try and get the double digits so I can just have a mushroom house on standby. Unless it's a one up. I'm gonna use that up because, uh, yeah, I don't really want that. Because like, here's the thing, look, when you need, when a, mush a level is designed around a, the Mega Mushroom, it's gonna have it in the level anyway. So I don't even know, like, why you'd really want to get, like, a Mega Mushroom house. Like, mm. I mean, it's cool to have, like, try, like, it's cool, it's cool to have, like, a uh, Mega Mushroom on standby, I guess, but, like, when you need it, yeah, I'm just using it up pretty much. Um, but, yeah, when you, when you need, like, uh, to go through the, the, um, environment to go through pipes and, like, secrets and stuff, like, that's actually kind of close, because I might need that pipe. No, okay. Uh, I have a feeling it has something to do with that pipe, though. There's probably a gold pipe somewhere up here. Can take the spin. Because, like, after this, it's just, like home stretch really so it has to be a pipe come on the key twos are always a pain like in really any game I can think of you're just gonna leave all right do you just all oh, right that's right they 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 uh, die from the cloud disappears from a regular jump I'm gonna have to do something else it's kind of annoying. I don't think that happens in the other games. So, yeah, it, it's a bit of a pain here. Okay, it's Star Works. I need more, more. I need more. Come on. Ugh. This is just annoying, dude. I need that, need that star now. No, no, I just can't really do much. And that's just one of these. Okay, that, that was the most epic fail shot shot in existence. Like, that was brilliant. But yeah, like, Lakitis are just a pain. Like, in Mario World, they can get annoying. And uh, in 64, they aren't too bad, I guess, but... Even still, like... The, the, I think the only, um, well, I think the only, like, uh, enemy you're looking to is in, like, Rainbow Cruise, or Rainbow Ride, or whatever it's called in 64. Because uh, I know, like, the, uh, Melee stage has, like, a different name for some reason, so I always get the two mixed up, but... Yeah, that, that stage, like, it, they have, the, like, a Lakitu over, like, a bunch of, mo like, cylinder platforms or something like that. Uh, this is, like, Mario Maker kind of trap. At least you can get out, but, like, that's something you'd see in Mario Maker. Alright, found it. Speaking of which, I've actually been thinking about streaming that at some point again, because I haven't played that game in so long. And, uh... Oh, right, yep. Yeah. Oh, wow, it is like Mario Maker. That, okay. Okay, game. Yeah, not a fan of that. <laughs> any, any of those kinds of traps where you just, you just trap yourself, and I'm trapped again. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I need to stop jumping down. I need to stop jumping down there. Uh, I see pipes, and I instantly think I'm fine. There we go. That's what you meant to do. Oh, dang it. Whatever. Can't imagine how you're supposed to do that. Whatever. Okay. Let's get some one-ups. Okay. 
I'm gonna do my uh, normal strategy. See if it works this time. Nope. Ugh, dang it. Yeah, I'm more of a fan of the uh, other, the one-up houses in the other games where it's more based on skill than luck. Like, I like, th you can get so many lives in this game, uh, in this game's one-up houses compared to the others. Um, if you do get really lucky, but, you know, that's the problem, you have to get lucky, I'm not, and I'm not big of a fan of RNG. Eh, it's a, I, I don't know, like... It's not always the worst thing in the world, but... Oh, cool. Found out by complete accident, I'll take it. Uh, but... Sometimes it's not always the end of the world, I guess, but like... It can get frustrating sometimes. Please be something good. Uh... This is very unorthodox. Ah, no, 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 no. Just kill me. Alright. Let's just make this more safe. I'll, I'll keep- I'll, I'll still get the P block- the P switch, but like... This ain't gonna be my priority this time. I'm just gonna try and make it across. There we go. And we still got all... I think we got all of them. Yeah, that wasn't nearly as hard as I made it out to be. Now, where are the others? That is the question. Oh. This is a thing now. So many blocks. And I can't hit any of them, apparently. Oh! Some have a one up. Okay. And it just gets. Okay. Oh, come on! Oh, whatever. <laughs> how, how long does this last? I like how it just it just gets like uh... ah. Can I at least get one of these? Okay, cool. That could have gone a lot better. Oh. Nope. Is that the second one? Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's the way I came, so I didn't need to do that. Alright. Yeah, I, I think that my, my main issue with the swim, swim, uh, swimming controls in these games is that uh, when you, like, turn, like, there's a little delay, not really delay per se, but like, The way it works is that you turn around and like uh, you have to wait until Mario's momentum stops uh, so you can like actually start moving properly in the side you're facing and you know that makes it a bit annoying to avoid things sometimes and I mean it makes sense logically um, and it may like that kind of thing would just it I mean okay it, I mean it does feel natural like it you're not gonna have like super good movement underwater, I get that, but like. 
Uh, it's just annoying. It's just annoying to deal with sometimes. You can just like get get uh hit by enemies and stuff. What when you you're trying to just get away and it's just yeah. I'm just gonna do whatever. Four lives. Alright. We've already gone lower than 30, so I'm happy about that. Another fortress. Okay, so it's one of these kinds of levels. One of these... Look! <laughs> one of these, like, crushes, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, I, I guess one thing... I, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but, like, uh, one thing that... Great. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty great. Uh, one thing that the Mar Mario games tend to do, or Nintendo games in general, seem to do this quite a lot, is that, uh, when you go for a level- Oh. Oh, okay, my bad. Uh, when you go for a level, it introduces a gimmick, uh, that's in a relatively safe and easy to understand environment, like, you see here, uh, like, we start the level, and then this crusher thing goes through the area, and it's like, okay, yeah, don't get hit by that because you're gonna die, or take damage. And as you go through, it gets gradually more difficult, adds unique twists onto the onto the idea and uh, all that stuff. The one of the issues of the Mar new Super Mario Bros. series, though, is that it shares a lot of similar ideas. So something like these these uh, little uh, cr pillar crusher thingy mobs that have spikes on them. Uh, the the this kind of obst obstacle gets repeated quite often in this series, and like, beca because of stuff like that, you're gonna see, um, so a lot, quite a lot of rep repetition in the new Super Mario Bros. games, um, because like I said, they, they, in, in the game, they have to introduce the gimmick and gradually make it harder as, as they go through, and because these games have similar gimmicks, they're gonna have to keep introduce re, like introducing that gimmick or obstacle for each game, which you know makes it a little makes it feel a little bit lazy. Like it's not the end of the world. Like the the level design is usually different enough, but it's still really noticeable sometimes. And oh, yeah, I'm not gonna make that. And, uh, yeah, it would have been better, they would have been better off making more unique s set pieces and stuff for each game. And they do, don't get me wrong, but, like, they do share a lot of similar things, or, like, similar, similar obstacles and whatnot. But, whatever. They're still fun games, they're still, uh, respectable, fu respectably fun platformers, and, um, Gives you a decent challenge, whether you're playing through to get to Bowser or 100%. They're fun. They're fun enough 2D platformers, um, but you know, there are sometimes it do, they do feel a bit, a little bit on the lazy side. Yeah, there's clearly something up here. Yeah, there has to be like, you can't expect me to actually wall jump up there like that. There's no way. Unless I can get this dry bones, like, on the right. How? Okay. I'm, like, getting higher and higher. This is... Uh, I didn't think, uh, I didn't think I would make it, but, uh, this is so weird. 
Why would they design it like this? Because that door is just going to be the boss, so I don't want to do that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, screw that, I'm not going down there again. Oh, wow. See, that is... I'm not sure I like- I'm not sure I like that, because it, it's clever, I guess, but, like, there should have been some kind of... Maybe either make this area smaller so the walls are closer, or just put, like, a secret block there, which there may have been, and I just couldn't find, couldn't find it, but... It shouldn't have been. I- yeah, I honestly thought it was gonna go into a shell, but... Yeah, I- yeah, that just feels really odd. That just doesn't feel right to do. Regardless. I- oh! Okay, so we're getting to the point in the game where there's gonna be multiple fortresses. Alright. Honestly forgot that was a thing... Uh, ...in... Uh, ...worlds that weren't at World 8, to be honest. Yeah, uh, again, it's been a while, so... What are you gonna do, eh? What are you gonna do indeed? I don't remember this level though. This is really cool. I don't think they do that ever again eh, with the with the uh, coin blocks or the 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 uh, not the coin blocks the uh, the question mark blocks. They do that a lot though. The the ones with the strings, which is kind of cool. Again, don't touch that, don't touch the poison water, because it's, it acts like lava and it's instant kill. Pretty self-explanatory. This is like a... Oh, th this is actually reminding me uh, of a uh, stage I made in a... Uh, I think it was like a Mario Flash game or something. Uh... Okay, there's, okay, there's a, there's, there's a pipe. Got used to that. So... Let's get hit immediately. Yeah. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> okay, this is the actual way to go. Alright. And I believe... Yeah, like, yeah, this platform makes you makes it so you just slowly go down. So we've got to be careful. Alright, where is... Alright. There's a secret somewhere. I got... Oh. Oh! Okay, that is very sneaky. <laughs> nice. I approve of that. Because it's just, like, you see it. You see the two pipes there. It's like, okay, I'm going to make sure I don't dive from that. <laughs> but, like, yeah, you see the star coin. You see the two pipes there. It's like, can I actually jump, uh, like, over this and, like, go down there? Apparently you can. I don't know if that's where you're supposed to do it, but it seems like it. Because you can't see the top of the pipe, so it doesn't seem like you should be able to, uh... Oh, it actually moved over uh, closer to the goal. That's interesting. Not sure if that- not sure if it just does that normally. And I should have hit it further to the right, but... What are you gonna do? <sighs> But yeah, that was a really cool secret. <laughs> Finally, another actual ca canyon level. That's funny. Ugh. Yeah, I'll just do this. Oh. They saw through my strategy. Uh, I guess... Uh, 
for other things to talk about. I may as well mention some of the side content, um, besides the main game and all that. Um, so, I don't know if you can- I'm- I'm not sure how, how you're supposed to do multiplayer on the Wii U version, if at all, because- because of how the system works and how the DS handled on, uh, like, multiplayer with, like... Dang it. Uh, because, like, the, the way this- okay, the way this game and a lot of DS games handled online- oh, not online, why do I keep saying that? The way they handled multiplayer, um, was that- it was like like kind of local wireless play, where you get two DSs near each other, and then uh, you go to DS download play and start playing like the versus mode in this game or the mini the mini games in this game. And I'm not sure how you're supposed to do that on the Wii U, if at all, because you kind of needed that kind of thing for it to work. Um, so I, I guess they're just that's just, that stuff is just unavailable in this version. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but, yeah, I don't see how that would work here, but, yeah, regardless, there is a two-player versus mode where one player, one player plays as Luigi, the other plays as Mario, I should have said that the other way around, but what are you gonna do, uh, but, yeah, you play, play as the two brothers, and you, I f believe you, uh, go through, like, a semi, like, a pretty small area, like, there's pipes to the, uh, the uh, start and the end of the level where you like just loop around and stuff and you have to get like I think like five stars or something before the other player does I don't exactly remember the require any like like exactly how it works or like the, all the requirements and whatnot but you know you're competing is the point and you can like mess each other up with the power-ups you get and uh, all that stuff. It's a pretty fun mode to mess around with a friend. It's not mind blowing or anything. Like we won't get multiplayer, uh, a true multiplayer Mario game or 2D Mario game until Mario Wii. Uh, so you know. But as it's, you know, as its own little side mode, it's not bad. It's it's harmless. Um, and the. But there's also a, a really fun mini ga uh, mini game mode that has a ton of different mini games, um, and I think, actually no, I, I know for a fact it it debuted in this kind of thing debuted in Mario, Mario 64 DS, and which makes sense considering all a lot of the uh, uh, mini games that are used, uh, they are very some of them are very heavily like based on Mario 64, like you see. An area based on Big Boo's horn. You see, uh, I guess one of the Wario minigames kind of looks like the the pyramid of shifting sandland. Uh, there's the the snow one that's ba pretty obviously based on one of the snow levels, uh, and you know stuff like that. So it, it, it's pretty obvious that a lot of them ca like came from 64DS, but I think there are some new ones here as well. Don't quote me on that because I haven't actually played the mini games in 64DS. Like I've only played a little bit of that game. Uh, like when I say very little, I mean like barely any of it. Like I I played it one time on like a friend's DS at one point. Uh, I didn't really do too much. I think I was playing the stage that gets you that gets you Mario. Um, like, the, uh, level you fight, whatever the Goomba boss is called, Goomba King, I, 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 I don't remember, I don't remember, um, but yeah, I, I remember playing that, not really digging the controls too much, and, uh, yeah, I haven't played it since. It is on the Wii U Virtual Console, so I'm gonna try it out eventually, but that's a, that's something that's gonna be way ahead in the future. I might do a blind stream of it, a blind live stream of it, uh, at some point, because I do, we've already, we've already played through 64, uh, there's, and, uh, I don't think we're gonna have enough, enough to say, uh, for 64 DS, to, like, for, to justify having a full new playthrough, so I might as well just make a live stream or something, because I do wanna, 
at least do something with the game. So, that might just be the best option. We, who knows? My, my, uh, mindset might change. Uh, I might do a full playthrough, but, uh, uh, it's very, very unlikely. Not quite, not quite as unlikely as, uh, me not doing Dick Donkey Kong 64, because that, that game is just too exhausting to, to go through for its own good, and I, I've already done a full, oh, live stream series of it and it's probably going to be a lot more entertaining than an LP of it could ever be from me to be quite honest so if you want to get a if you want to see a decent Donkey Kong 64 LP you're gonna have to look somewhere else I'm afraid uh, Slim Kirby did it I don't remember I don't think I ever watched that LP of his but I guess you can check that out if you want to have a yeah, yeah, I, I figured he was going to do that. I jumped too low. Uh, because he had his handkerchief on. And his face and all that. Oh, well. Oh, well, I was talking about the, um... Well, first off, I was talking about the, uh, side content. Um, but yeah, the, min the mini games are really cool. Uh, they're nice little additions. I wish they were in the other game, the other New Super Mario Bros. games. Because after this, they kind of dropped them. For some reason. I don't know why. Uh... I mean, you has this interesting side content where, like, there's... I don't remember what, what it's called, but, like... Uh, there's, like, this, um... Challenge mode where, like, there's a... There's a bunch of different challenges that are based on certain specific conditions, like, beat an area in a certain time, get the least amount of coins possible, um, you know, stuff like that. And, uh... Yeah, it's a nice little side mode. But I, I, I do kind of wish they uh, kept the mini games as like an ongoing trend for this series, because they they only really do this in this and 64DS, as far as I know. Could be wrong, but okay, come on. Yeah, th th this kind of platform just makes me nervous, which is why I keep jumping. But you're done. But yeah, I'm, I, obviously I can't, I'm, I can't show off the versus mode because unless someone uh, can tell me a, a way to make it work and I can get someone else to join me, uh, that's going to just be impossible to set up in the first place. But, uh, I am definitely going to be showing off a, the mini game mode because although there are some mini games I think that are exclusive to multiplayer, you can play a majority of them by yourself. So for like an extra video or so, I'm going to be showing off those mini games because I think they're... An I really don't want that, but okay. Uh, they, I think they are a really cool little extra you can do on the side. 